How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Simulator video and in today's video guys we are going to be working on the Lamborghini Diablo GT2. That is right. I think this is a uh, 98 or somewhere around there. Um, but the one we got here is rocking a sick V12 uh, setup on here. It even has, oh wow I didn't notice that before, it even has the Diablo engine cover. Oh okay okay. Um, but yeah, we're going to be working on this today. We're going to get in, I think we'll be getting it very far, maybe even completely done. I'm not 100% sure, maybe, uh, I don't know. Uh, the body I'm kind of tossed up on. Um, but as it sits now, we just have to refinish it, uh, redo the motor. I mean, pretty much everything actually, but um, I got some really cool concepts for how I want this thing to look. Like super, super cool concepts. Uh, I got a picture of like the actual GT2s up on my right. It's this crazy pearlish orange color that i really 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 want to do so without any further ado let's get into it and let's get working but right really quick really quick let me let me do something here i wanted to change up the garage a little bit uh is this the main floor right yeah it is i wanted to change the floor up yeah let's do that so that color is good and then i want to change it from the let me move it over. We don't need the floor. We don't need the drain grates. It's the walls. Uh, not those. Change the other walls. There we go. What's wall C? So we'll see the one that I want. Yeah, okay, this is the one that I really wanted to change. Uh, let's change to black, yeah. Ooh, there we go. There's a nice, refreshing change of scenery. So red wall, black wall. Uh, we still got the normal brick back here that I uh, I really like. Whoa, what was that? Um, and then I got the uh, blue flooring. Something, something on the mouse here. There we go. Got it fixed. But, all right, let's get let's get underway. I think we're gonna leave this one in this bay also. Uh, let's see. How was it? It's two hundred. Okay, yeah, we already made a ton of money on it. Uh, just sitting how it is. It's missing. What is that? It's ten pieces. Missing ten pieces here. Not too bad. This was a barn find. Uh, so that's really not not too shabby. Um, you know, we'll just start by Yeah, we'll start by tearing this thing apart. I really don't need any of this stuff in it to do anything more. Let me see. I guess we can get these doors out of here. Oh, there are actually a lot more parts on this thing than I thought there were. Body window out. Um, 1%. All right, that's good. Yeah, the body's actually not in too terrible of a shape. And we are going to be refurbing these wheels and hopefully reusing them. And or we'll be using the at least the exact same uh, sort of wheels here. Uh, move this to... Okay, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be pretty good. And I am going to throw drag tires on this one this time because I am going to want to see uh, exactly how fast we can get going. And honestly, without drag tires, we will not be able to put down uh, put down the grip that we really need to get down. I've I've had that happen multiple multiple times uh, over and over and over again. So hopefully, we should be good with that. Oh, there it is. All right, drop the V12A gearbox. Pretty small gearbox, but I mean, wide but small. Uh, drop out this stuff just because it's right here. And this is the V12, so I am going to be doing some more performance to it. What is it, stock? 700? 500. So we could be hitting very, very, very close to, uh, what would it be? It'd be 1,000 horsepower? Yeah, it'd be pretty close to 1,000. Uh, where's this at? Where's this at? All right, there we go. Motor is gone. 
Uh, I guess since I got that first tire out, let's get the rest of them out. All right, and now really quick, I'm gonna go over and work on these rims and tires. I'm gonna get a new set uh, balanced out and ready to go. Let's just check and see what the total quality is right now. Uh, so we're probably gonna lose, oh, hopefully we don't lose any rims. All right, I'll be back with you guys with, I think brand new everything on the rims and tires at least. All right, there we go. I got everything balanced. It took me a minute, but I got it done. Uh, we got the motor pulled. Let's get the motor thrown up on here. This is a fairly complete V12, as you guys can see here. It looks like it looks like it's missing. Um, I think it was 10 things total. So like we got a manifold missing, a couple ignition pieces missing, starter oil. Or not oil. oil. I mean, not start oil filter. And maybe that's it. Not too much. Really not not much. This was a barn find, so uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. All right, I'm going to start off here really quick, guys. And I'm going to tear this entire thing down and fast forward it for you guys because it's going to take me a couple minutes here. all right guys there we go that took me uh like five whole minutes to get that entire thing torn apart which is not too bad but uh now it looks like it's time to repair really quick it's really loud all right looks like there was a lot of stuff i wasn't able to repair which is not a good sign it's okay though because we are going to be doing a bunch of modifications and performance parts into that v12 um obviously because you know it's a V12. Okay, the block is bad. That's not good. Oh, that's that's not good at all, actually. All right, V12. Let's find this block. Where's it at? All right, there it is. Uh, V12, V10. I think there was 520 total for this. I'm just getting some very basic generic stuff right now that I know I am going to need two of those I already got one belt a chain mm, timing covers how many of these do i need i don't think i need those yet um but there we go we'll grab an oil filter all right so that's a lot of parts here so Still got the crankshaft, which is good. What about pistons? So we're gonna go with normal pistons and one, two, three, four, five bearings. So we're gonna pick up one more bearing. Uh, okay, we'll go to here. Do the bear, one of those. And then we'll do the crankshaft. We probably broke our crankshaft pulley, honestly, because that's usually my luck, you guys know. Uh, and then we'll go over here, tuning. 
now we can really start playing with the parts the really really fast parts uh we'll do 12 pistons um let me just do v12 so we can pull out of here i'll have to wait on these so v12a we need two of those v12a we need two of those one of those so all the v12a stuff is what i think we need um i'll bite the bullet here and go with that stuff these and then camshafts we'll wait on the camshafts i don't know about the camshafts and they're a thousand dollars each so i'm definitely going to hold off on those then we'll get our piston rings from the normal shop wait we need 12 not 16. i was about to buy 16 there and then we need our rod caps we need 12 of these and then that should fill out our whole bottom end of our engine here all right, I'm gonna run through this really quick um, and I'll see you guys with the whole bottom end put together. All right, there we go. So there is the whole bottom end done now and now it's time for the top. So, oh yeah, I was gonna say, this is the real time I'm gonna see if I have the correct heads and I thought I bought them, which I did, which is really, really, really good. Cause that would have been like five grand. So looks like we need the camshaft V12s. So just the straight V12, so not the Bs. So I saved myself a lot of money by not making that mistake. All right, so there's one of those. It looks like we already have a full other set of manifolds. All right, I have a ton of extra ones. I'm not sure from where, but you know, that works. I'm not gonna complain about it. Must have gotten them out of a, uh, a case or if I forgot to build the V12 at one point. Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, so then we're gonna need four cam gears. Uh, first, we'll grab the alternator and then power steering pump. I'm pretty sure we're going with the V8. I would assume they're not gonna do anything older than that newer style, so fingers crossed on that one. Uh, what else could we need? We need fuel delivery. We'll take the pump. Uh, then we'll also get our clutch figured out. So you have the normal flywheel here. We'll have a pressure plate in the clutch plate. You go to the main shop. We'll grab our cam gears. So we need four cam gears. And I think we'll call it there. That should be a good, good amount of stuff bought. Ah, uh, well, oh, there was a V12 pump in there. Am I really that blind? No, there was no V12 pump. That's actually worse. Uh, that means that we don't have a V12, or we don't have a powered up, uh, modded up power steering cooler, or power steering pump, geez. That's okay though. Got a, got a give and, give and take. Although we have a nice manifold that only gives us 2%. In reality, this would give us far, 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 far more. Like, manifolds are quite a uh, quite a big part of modding. Or performance stuff, at least. Okay. Yeah, looks like I have a ton of extra parts. I have no idea where I got all these extra parts from. Or maybe, did I buy these? Eh, some of these I definitely know I bought, but some of them I did not. Yeah, I must have had just a bunch of extra ones. All right, well, there's the pulley. Water pump on. This one also has the thermostat, right? Yeah. This is the, I think the only other one I think I've seen other than maybe a Bentley that has a thermostat, which I think is way more realistic to have one, obviously. Right, throw a cover on up there. Oh, we're running low on rollers. All right, let's get two pumps. Water. Got the A, water. There we go. Just two of those. And then while we're up here, really quick, we're going to run over here. Grab our spark plugs. We need not 16, we need 12. We're also, going to need 12 of the ignition coils. I forgot to grab the coils earlier when I was in here. And that's all I can think of at the moment. 
front timing is almost done. We're very, very close. I think I just got there on the belts now. Right? Yep, yeah, belt, belt tensioner. And voila. Oh wait, let me get this timing chain cover. All right. Sweet, so that makes that a lot easier. And now I'm gonna go through really quick here and finish up all of the camshaft caps. These take forever, so I'm just going to fly through it and I will see you guys back here when that is done. Alrighty, so this should top off this cover over here. And that was that is done. It's crazy, oh wait a second. It's crazy how many uh, camshaft caps they have us put on. It's way more realistic, obviously, because there's camshaft caps on every single camshaft, every single overhead uh, camshaft. Um, but yeah, it's just so much to put on. All right, there's the coil. I don't think this has wires, but it does have head covers. So we need V12A, head cover B and D. I'm trying to remember those. Uh, V12 head. 12 head cover. Hey, there's only two head covers. Is this the oh, is this the oh, this is the AMG motor they have in here? Okay. It's a shame that there's no real Lamborghini motors in this uh, game, but uh, that's that's all right. It's something you got to deal with. I could pop on over here. There we go. Let's finish up this clutch, and then I. think think we're done. I'll have to take a look at some of the other smaller spots on the motor to make sure we got everything because I have missed things in the past. And I'm not trying to miss them again. Mainly on the front here. Looks like we got everything. We got our fuel. Alright, I think that's done then. Pop that out. Pop it back in. I wonder what the value of this car is right now. 182,000, and that's without most of our body panels on. Let's go over to our welding station, shift this over to that one, yeah, making sure it went over. Grab this, shift it over to this one. All right, interior detail, make it look good. Make the body look good. Body and that that uh, the the welding part does the frame. It's like the frame welding kit, so it makes the frame look good. But in this case, it makes the entire car look good, which is really really nice. Um, next up, let's see what we got. I'll start throwing together pieces that we have. I think we're gonna do this window. Yeah, we're gonna do the racing mirror. And I guess I saved a lot more. Saved a lot more parts than I thought. I went back through and I bought a lot of extra parts because I was assuming that they were not going to make it through the repair process, but I guess they did. It sounded really bad when I when I went through and I repaired everything. Oh wait, that window's bad. Oh, hopefully I got the right window on the other side. Body window A. Oh wait, uh oh. We'll do this trunk. I'm not sure if that was actually in good shape or not. So that's going to be a toss. I got to put the right lights on here, though. That was one thing that I knew was wrong. They did not have the correct lights on. Yeah, there we go. At least I don't think they were the right lights. All right, yep. Yeah, keep them with the stock ones. And then, nope. All right, let me pop this so I can install that piece right there. All right, and then you know what, I'll just, let me go buy a plate really quick so I can make sure that we're at 100% here. Um, we'll get two California plates. All right, there's one, there's two, close this, we just throw this engine cover on, and then global body's 100, all right, sweet, so that does confirm what I was hoping, all right, good, I can go back in, I need to take that engine cover back off, actually, all right, 
Really quick, we're gonna run through, redo the brakes, rotors, and calipers um, all around. And actually, we're gonna do these hubs too. Um, because I don't want to redo the entire suspension for this car, especially since this is a one video build. Um, so that is why. Pop that battery out while I'm in here. Hop on over to the back discs. At least these are discs all around. That is uh, very, very, very helpful. Popping out all these hub bearings too, so I can make sure got no wheel play when we get everything put back together. All right, let's go see what we can repair. Uh, where are we at? Okay. Go here. We go to brake. We need two ventilated, two regular ventilated. Let's go in the front, if you guys know. Uh, we need four pads. I'm going to buy two extra of the, each brake because I think we may have lost a few in there, but I'm not 100% sure. Then we got to go to the hub. We got to buy two new hub caps. Four new hub bearings. I go to here. Let's see. These should all slide back on pretty nicely. And plus, this will make the uh, the shot of like the tire, like being able to see in the tire, it'll make it look not a lot nicer actually. Uh, make sure you get the 245s on the front, the 330s, 335s in the uh, in the rears. I want to mess that one up again. All right. Uh, 245s. Oh, yeah. That fills out the, uh, the wheel well pretty nicely. Let me throw that on there. And then, can I even get to the engine bay from up here? Oh, I can. There we go. I need to get rid of these radiators. Radiator, fan housing. Radiator A, fan housing, we need two of those. Fan housing fan. Uh, actually with the battery should be good by now. Throw the battery back in while I'm under there and get this right there we go i probably could have repaired some parts of that radiator but i really didn't want to try honestly all right there's our fan we're gonna hop back down to here get our disc in all right, then I think we have to stop the caliper. We have to put the uh, transmission back together first. Um, what did that say? Oh, give me that. All right, we got to throw this guy back up on the lifter to get the fuel tank out, which is a pain in the butt. Very odd fuel tank placement. Could puncture right through there. But you know, that's okay. I need to do this anyways to get the gearbox on. Let me see if we have a performance V12 gearbox, actually. I definitely am going to need it. V12A. V12B is massive. Whoa. So I think this is the seven gear like automatic. I'll have to check and see what it says. All right, this one takes it. All right, sweet. And yeah, now we got the 335 by 35s. So the 335 is just, it's a chonker. Look at that. That thing is huge. Uh, there we go. And then the wheel should cover up most of that. Note to self, I have a few extra calipers actually. All right, awesome. Hey, look at that, throw the battery in from here. So I think that should button up most of the work I need to do on here. We need to get some oil in there, throw the engine cover back on and see if it starts. Let's drop it down. I think we still need to paint it. I do need to take it to the paint booth. I do need to make it this incredible orange color. Like it is just nuts. 
Uh, where do I fill the oil from again on this one? This one's weird. Am I missing it? I'm missing it. Where are you at? Also, give me, give me that brake servo. There we go. We got a new one in there. There it is. In a completely impossible spot to fill, pretty much. You have to take off the, what looks like, intake cover and fan off, or intake filter and cover off to get this to uh, work. Uh, there we go. Now I can easily slap the engine cover back on. And what's the price? 442000 So we basically, I think it was at 220 when we started the video. So we basically doubled it. We've effectively doubled the value of the car already. Um, obviously right there, you can see the suspension parts not in great shape. Um, we'll go test those in a minute though. We'll go test the suspension just because I want to know where it's at, but it's not really that important. Obviously this thing could hit like, is that 400,000? It could come close to like probably five, 600,000 if I did the suspension, but no thanks, not right now. All right, let's find this orange. Okay, we need way more brightness, um, saturation. All right, so it's pretty much this orange. Let me see what it looks like as a pearl. Yep, right there. That is it. Maybe a little darker, actually. There we go. Yeah, I have the picture right up here. And it matches pretty good. I think the front bumper is one of the things that's a little off. And I wanted to paint that front bumper, but it looks like it didn't paint it. Which is okay. You know what? It's no big deal. Uh, we have any liveries, by the way? It's pretty sure there was a GT2 livery on here. That's not a livery. There's the police one. Another police one. It's the SV. Red SV and then what a white SV, yeah. Alright, none. Alright. That's okay. Boom, there we go. I'll take it. Next up, you got a date with Dino. You know what? We won't test the suspension actually. It should be fine. All right, 572 horsepower, guys. I'm going to estimate about 850 to 8, nine, or 850 to 900 is what I'm saying. There wasn't that many parts I was able to put on, but you never know. All right, let's see what she can put down. Oh, my God. Okay, so that was uh, that was pretty loud, super, super, super loud car, but it put down 985 horsepower. Was that a thousand pounds? Oh, 642 pounds of torque. Wow. Okay. Um, 230 miles per hour is what the stock gearbox gives us. 1400 miles an hour. So we'll give it to 277. Um, well, it's an approximate. I, I highly doubt we're gonna get anywhere near that, but uh, you never know. All right, let's go. Let's go see though. Let's go test it. So I, dang it. <laughs> so I have the drag radials on there for a reason. It was so that we could actually grip up when we go to drive, because as you guys have seen in the past, speed track and non uh, drag racing tires on really really strong uh, motors and whatnot does not work well. You would spin out instantly every single time. You can't even get, you can't throttle at all, otherwise you instantly spin out. So, fingers crossed here. Bad suspension, but fingers crossed. Oh yeah, we're bouncing. Wow, the interior looks incredible. All right, here we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's fast. Oh yeah, it's fast. Okay. So what I just learned from that is we need to gear it quicker. It definitely was, uh... yeah, we need to gear way quicker. But no, that was pretty good. 
pretty good. 200 and what, 36 is what the top was on that, I think. It barely hit seventh gear. I know I saw that. Um, so that's pretty, pretty impressive, personally, I would say. Um, but there we go, guys. It is now worth $442,000, $333,000 restoration bonus. We'll take that. We'll take that any day. All right, but there we go. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below. If you guys got any other cars you want me to work on, I'll see if they're in the game. I'll work on them. Any movie cars or anything like that, let me know, and I can try and get it done. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed yet, and I will see you in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video. I'm gonna take a trail in the world, but I go home.